This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another episode of A Bard's Tale Remastered and Resnarkled. In the last episode, we left the town of Houghton, but before we left, the local law enforcement uh, required, requested our assistance in getting Kettle back after releasing him from his uh, prison, even though we needed it for magic and other such things. But unfortunately, it's not working in our favor, so we'll need to go capture him again. Man, if only we just let him die, we wouldn't have to mess with this stuff, but oh well. Well, maybe in another playthrough, or... Oh, wait, no, I do have another playthrough of that. Uh, there are some slight differences. I wouldn't say anything major. Um, I don't know if... I actually... I, I was still trying to decide if I actually do want to show. I thought about it, but I was like, eh, is it really worth uh, showing both of the alternatives? But, uh, eh, we'll keep playing and see how I, how I feel about that, but, eh. Stupid trial wizards and their curses. Come and get me, you meandering moron! Kettle, quit cowering up there like the frightened rodent that you are. Come out and fight! Ah, your mother's a furbug and your old man's a trow! You don't want to make me come up there. Save your singing for the sheep, you crooning coward! Well, that ain't that bad of an come insult. Come on, you pansy! Yeah, could do better, dude. Oh yeah, there's really no reason to chop these things, I'm just doing it. You ugly pug! Eh, pug, most pugs are ugly, but they're still cute in their own Come way. And get me. That ain't an insult. Hey, that's a nice outfit you're wearing. Did your sister shave her back and knit you a sweater? All right, that's it. You're 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 toast, buddy. Even though I don't have a sister, and I I really don't believe the the bard has a sister. And we fight Kettle. Kettle can actually do a decent amount of damage. You have to be careful against him. You're Although weirdly soft, enough, right? the uh, weirdly oh, enough, the uh, little soft. You're almost dead, Huntress. Did that with my eyes closed. Yeah, sure, sure, lady. Ow, dang! I got punches like a no rock. No more, no more! Don't kill me! Uh, I was only kidding about your sister. Uh, I'll come with you. Put your hands behind your back. Now what? You won't be trying any of them. Preversions, will you? I'm making sure you can't run away again. Or, if you prefer, I could just cut you off at the knees. But you're the one who let me go! And now you're taking me back? Are you bored out of your skull or just wrong in the head? Ow! Stop hitting me! Would you prefer I start stabbing you? Now shut your mouth and come with me. With Kettle in tow, the bard moved on, hoping to avoid the trial and bring his prisoner back to Houghton. A good experience, and hopefully we'll get paid too. Let me uh, let me get this treasure before we get out of here. Once we got Ooh, a shield, that'll give us a couple points of defense. I think it actually. Sh I don't know if it actually shows up in our inventory yet. Uh, let me see. I don't think we have to do anything. I think I just at some point it's supposed to maybe I have to leave the area for it to set or whatever. But it gives us a couple points of defense and helps with blocking. Eagle charm. I don't remember what that does. Uh, let's see, it's just oh tokens. Here we go. This charm, a rhythm this plus charm one. was enchanted by the Trau Fnaf to aid him with his poor musicianship. Well, its new owner isn't much of a step up from a Trau. Hmm. Well, I, I would I would be insulted, but it is from Tony J saying it, so I'll I'll accept it. This charm was enchanted by the Trau Fnaf to end with his poor musicianship. Rhythm plus one. Uh, okay. And then, let's open up this. And we get... We get a new tune. The Crone. So we get a new tune ability. Um, the heroine was deadly accurate with a crossbow and quite nimble in battle. The equal of most any man in combat. Worth about ten men of the Bard's type. Ah, well, that's... 10, 10 of 0 isn't much, though, is it? <laughs> Although fragile, the Thunder Spider could destroy most foes with a steady stream of lightning long before they were able to retaliate. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think I talked about these before, but I think the different tunes have different, like, abilities. Like, uh, the top one is basically more either sl um, range slash physical help helpers that'll actually get to the thick of it. Um, the little cloud thing there that's supposed to be more magically based um uh summons the uh, this one which the crone is it's our first uh, support uh, um 
summon and then the bottom one is like utilitary for like um, specifically for quests and stuff like that a study in contrasts although a seemingly vile old witch she was an expert in providing aid to those wounded in battle mm. well a face only mother could love right yeah, she probably can bake cookies or something like that you know a study in con uh she oh he, it basically just says what Tony J said, so... And I'd rather have Tony J say it than me, don't you think, viewers? A common rat. I am referring, of course, to the animal and not the bard. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be hard to make the distinction. Or to mess that up, so... Anyway, let's uh, let's switch to the crone for a while. Let me reset the... Even though, because the huntress is about to die anyway, so... So let's uh, wait for her to de-seal, or de-summon. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's summon the crone for some help. So she can heal. I don't know how often she can heal. I hope she's even got the witch's laugh. Awesome. Alright, let's take the kettle back to town. The Kuno Trow are lurking everywhere. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Untie me, and we might make a match, the pair of us. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. Alright, uh... Oh yeah, when you get the crone thing, it, you do get an achievement. Um, but I, I did some pre-testing earlier just to make everything was running and remembering the controls because by the time I'm, I'm trying to draw this guy out because this guy actually does like a lot of damage. <laughs> the guy on the ward or whatever. There we go. Okay. Now I should be fine now. Oh yeah. Now you can see the shield on my avatar now. That appears when you block. So yeah, I was, I was. Oh yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, you have to be really careful because that guy can just charge in and just start a. Uh, ah, uh, kill the. No, don't kill Kettle. Leave him alone. Okay, let me see if I can summon the crown back. Yeah, I have to be really careful because this guy does a ton of damage. Ah. Ah, dang it. Ah, oh, frick, man. This guy's nasty. Ah. Oh. Well, at least the crone's healing me. So at least there's that. Ow. Maybe I should have gotten the, um... Um... What's the word? I should have gotten the... Maybe I should have gotten the spider, but... The crone is healing me, so... Oh, does... Oh, he has his... Right, the magic user has his own healer. Right. That me think. Now, I gotta be really careful. I'm sorry if, if I'm not uh, talking. I'm I'm trying to take this guy out. Um, unfortunately, I've actually, like I said, when I was pre-testing this, I was aware of these guys the first time, and I died a few times against Come these guys. Trying to... So that's that's why I was being being um, uh, careful like that because I was like, I don't want to die again. Just giving you some information and some behind the scenes like, you know, um, stuff going on. I usually don't like to talk, uh, talk about that type of stuff to keep the magic, but uh, every once in a while I gotta bring up the fact that, you know, sometimes I... Badger hide gloves, huh? You said that was a new token, right? Let's check that out. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. Ugh. Badger, 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 mushroom. But yeah, you get a little bit of extra. But yeah, the tokens in the course of the game give you extra stats. So it's always good to try and locate the uh, um, locate those tokens if you can. So usually it means you just having to find treasure chests or which I might have to go back to an old area just to see if I miss any because I I'd forgotten that the uh, that the trees counted as um. Uh, uh, usually I think the AI usually goes for your companion and you first before it goes for anyone else like Kettle or the dog. Um, from what I remember anyway. God, the, uh, the wizards are kind of annoyed. They just like to, like to freaking jump away, you know. Oh, and of course the wizards are healing each other. So that's kind of a, another annoyance right there. Yeah, unfortunately with summoning the crone you can't you don't really get that little extra attack help, so you have to kind of decide what if you want to do like uh, if you want to be healed or uh, ah. 
I've always been bad about trying to get, you know, the, the counter, like, block so you can, uh, um, you know, get a bit more of a, a delay from them. But yeah, I think in the first force, I think I missed a couple of possible treasure chests. So I'm going to have to go off screen and see if I can get any tokens. Because I don't... It's been forever since I played this game, you know, so I don't remember where every single token and treasure chest and everything like that is. So you'll have to forgive me if I miss a few. I'll try to find most of it. I mean, I guess I could, you know, go through all the areas the first time through and then look up a guide for anything I missed afterwards just to go back and show you or whatever, but... Okay, so let's take a kettle across. Hello. Welcome to Pisky's magical matter made transport... Transport... Transport thingy to the future! Oh. Excuse me? I don't smell anything. Wait! You're the Varf! Right, my brother told me about you. What did he say? Oh yeah, he said the Varf... Hey, Kettle, what are you doing here? You know, Farf is looking for you. Snarf rhymes with barf. <laughs> I can make up a song about you too. Listen, I uh, I don't have time for your ramblings. Perhaps you could just take me across the river. Taking the barf across the river, that was it. Hey, now, now what was the special barf deal? I'll tell you what, I'll make the same deal I did with your mate down the way. I won't gut you, and you'll cross the river with us alive. <laughs> I remember. My brother said, don't let the barf cross unless he pays at least a hundred silver. I guess he told you that because he wants to see you float down the river face first. I'd like to see a try. I took a potion. Makes me involved in, vulva, in the Verna Rumble Bowl. So, don't tell my brother though, because sometimes that makes me a bit drunk. <laughs> see? I make it myself. Now you can pay to cross, or you can stay here. And if you don't get a hundred silver, well then, you'll just have to shake it out of the trees. Ready to shoot on across the Pisco River? Get to the good part. Okay, I think you have to, I think you do have to pay him no matter what. Um, because you already were helped to cross the, oh, I almost forgot to treasure because we already got across the river the first time and yeah we threatened his brother and he's like oh okay fine but then of course that the the, the other trowel realized or or creature do they do they respond huh i didn't know creatures respond after a while or i mean i know they can respond if you leave and come back you know that type of thing but i didn't know if they ah, although I, I guess me. technically <laughs> i guess technically i left and came back because i went through kettle's uh room or whatever, so I guess that makes sense. Huh. Yeah, those wizards are pretty annoying, actually. Kind of remind me of uh, archers and dynasty warriors. Those guys are super annoying, too. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess when he asked you to pay, maybe that's why they, the um, uh, trow respawn, just in case uh, you, for some reason, don't have enough money. So either, like, like if you I think it's just a backup to, like, get money somehow. Like, if something occurs to per just to keep healing each other. Guys are being, being annoying. Stay down. Ah. Ow, getting Die. surrounded. Gonna bite. Oh my god, this is obnoxious. Jeez. Yeah, they're surrounding me and then I'm not killing the freaking wizards. The only reason I'm going over here is I'm trying to see if I can, um, uh, see about the other, see what happened to the other, uh, brother and see if I can just go back that way. Because I think you could go either way. Though I could be wrong. Yeah, let me see, uh, see if we can just go back this way this time. No, you just, okay, that's right, he just went across and dropped us off. Okay. I thought so, but I, I wasn't... Sure. Sorry about that. Too bad there's not a way to go I go a little bit fast. At least I don't recall being able to run faster in this game. Although you run at a pre pretty good pace for the most part. So, but anyway. Okay, so we'll have to pay his money. And we did get some extra money by fighting those guys again, so I guess I can't complain too much. But yeah, go back to... And we'll probably get some a decent amount of money from Kettle anyway, so... Welcome to pit Excuse me? I don't smell it. Ready okay, to now we can just pay. Let's get going. 
kick your arms and your legs. Let's get this road on the ship. You know, as the captain of this ship, I can legally marry you two, if you want. Now be fearful as you get out, because the dock is made out of hickory wood, and it can get slick if it's wet, which makes it a very slippery hickory dock. Uh, I think I, I think my brain hurts now. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not the worst t worst type of joke pun or whatever I've heard. I, and I've played uh, Sierra games before, so actually they weren't pretty bad about their jokes either. But you know. Well, now, what have we here? I don't know you. But Kettle, my clandestine companion, when was the last time we saw each other? Well, now, let's see. I was on my way to Houghton and... Oh, wait! I remember! Yes, it was when you pilfered my prized possession, my exquisite eagle charm! It wasn't me, Fnarf. It was this beggar right here who stole it. I was bringing him back to you when he knocked me over the head, took it from me person, and tied me up. Hold on a minute. I never saw this thing before in my life. I found it in Kettle's house when I came to take him back to Houghton. <sighs> the perplexing problem is, if I were to let you go, my fear of friends here would consider me a coward. You, you see, they, they might even get into their noggins the notion that they could take over this bloodthirsty band. So, we're going to bash your brains and purloin your property. Nothing personal, you understand. If there's one thing I hate, it's Kunal Trow with delusions of grandeur. Quick! Cut me loose so I can fight! Hmm... I don't know about that. Like hell, you'll bugger off as soon as I do. Are you daft, man? Let me loose or they'll kill us both! Uh, I don't know about that. As long as you go first, at least I'll have some entertainment before I die. I was right. You are an idiot. And sure as not, they'll brain you with a club and you'll lose what little wits you got remaining. Alright, anyway, we have to fight Narf. Hopefully we can... Hopefully beat this guy with a prone. It should help a little bit. Ow. I think I think the ah jeez trying to beat these guys. Oh no, leave leave the crone alone. I need her heals. <laughs> don't don't kill the heal bot. Yeah, these guys are kind of nasty mainly because of the ranged the range attack in this game is actually kind of obnoxious cuz they well that's why I oh, dang it. Okay. Well, as long as I be careful and ranged attacks don't do a ton of damage. But yeah, that's why the huntress can be a pretty good companion because Archery is just obnoxious, you know, just uh, because it stuns you. Like, yay, we did it. Fnarf is dead, or almost dead. I've got to go see a guy about a gelding. So, I'll suffer you to survive for now. When we assemble again, you won't find yourself as fortunate. Yeah, we're just letting him go away, huh? Despite the bard's warm and shining personality, people continue to run from him like the plague. Perhaps he would one day learn that in order to keep friends near, a man such as himself needed to keep them tied up. If only I could find a sock big enough to put in that mouth of yours. Though Fnaf had escaped, the bard had the unmistakable feeling that they would meet again. Of course, that's how these things always work. If they just stayed around and took their beating like a man for the first time, they'd save me a lot of trouble. <laughs> Yeah, we wouldn't have to worry about the the story implications later on. Anyway, yep. The let me. Ash, do I want to keep? Do I want to keep the crown or, or swap back to? Hmm. I kind of like having a, a, a melee companion help with damage. So we'll we'll go back to the huntress for now, and then maybe we'll for duty. kind of sw switch it on and off depending on my how I feel or how bad the combat gets. Yep. Sorry, dude. You we let you go. Who knows how, what other, think of my reputation, man, as the bard. You know, if I just let people go all willy-nilly, you know. Yeah, exactly, the guard, dog, even the dog agrees. All right, now we just gotta get out of this place and uh, get our reward for Kettle. Well, I think the guy said he was gonna pay us. Maybe, hopefully. I forgot if there's a way to, 
I'm trying to remember if off screen there was a way to look at the overall map. I don't think so. Over here. On the move. On the move. No, those are the. Okay. Wait, wait. Trying to ice. Oh, more of you guys. Oh wait, no, you were just by themselves. Never mind. Really, I'm just looking for any random treasure chest or stuff I might have missed the first time. Okay, so we can just leave. I think I've... Yeah, I think I've cleared this... Well, I mean, I did clear it out until all the monsters reset. So I could just head to the entrance and be fine. Alright, let's get out of here. But yeah, I think I found everything last time I was here, so... Leave the Neversdale. Alright, back to Houghton so we can get the... Uh, Reward for Kettle. So you swine, happy to see me? Just you try running again, and it's fodder for the fin folk you'll be. Now, about my reward. Reward? You're lucky I don't throw you in jail. So, no reward then? Out with you. Well, at least I get experience. That's a reward. The reward is the journey we all um, came to. No, no, it's the it's the gold. Anyway, I, I forgot if this guy had any new uh, new weapons. Welcome or anything back. Like what can I do for you? Oh yeah, the oh, but I don't have the money for it. I could use a new melee weapon. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. When you're battling a foe up close and personal, you don't want to skimp on your instrument of battle. What else you got? Show me your bows. If you ask me, there's no. Yeah. Nah, not worth my time. Get to the good part. Let me look at. Let me look at my. Uh... Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm technically using a, a just a with my current weapon. I'm just using a standard longsword, I think. So, is that would the claymore be considered? Because that what did it say there? It said it was like seven to nineteen. And he has the. Welcome Claymore, back. What can I if we want to try get a be bit of better damage. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. When you're battling a foe up close and personal, it's a you don't want to better, skimp on your Because the weapon says so like 917, that's 925, so it might have a higher... The best weapon walks away to tell hmm. the tale. Do I want to try the new weapon? Because hmm. I don't think I get my shield if I, if I do that, but it would take advantage of my two weapon talents and stuff like that. Or don't want to wait. Hmm. Let me see I think I'll stick for now. I think I'm working, even though yeah, I'm not really taking full advantage of my current talents. And I don't think there's anything in Houghton currently we can access quest-wise. You, know, you keep coming around here, and pretty soon I let you stay permanent. Now be off with you. Hmm. Can you actually talk to Kettle still in the sheriff's office or? Jail, wherever he's at, or no? Well, he's not here anyway. Okay, I was just curious. I forgot that this game had things where you could, you know, get different dialogue if you come back to an old spot later in the game or something like that. But I don't recall. You know, you keep. All right, all right. You can stop threatening me with jail time, you nork. Oh, that's the Neverdales. We can skip that now. So, all right, off to uh, Kirk Kirkwall. What, when, did Dragon, or when did Dragon Age 2 make an appearance in this in this film? Well, anyway. Uh, let me look at the... I think it just says go to Kirkwall, right? Oh, right. Ogan's mom. That's... I forgot about that. I, Even though I mentioned that at the beginning of the episode, I forgot I was supposed to go tell her about her son's you know, son's uh, you untimely demise. Here, and pretty soon I let you stay. All right. Where Permanent. is be off with the... You. See, that's the end. Right there. Oh, there. Okay, it's right over here. I forgot. I forgot on the map. I forgot if you get pretty close to the map, it tells you where the um, um, quests are or the uh, uh, objectives. Uh, by the way, your son died being a foolish, foolish boy. I've uh, got some bad news. I'm afraid. I saw your boy Argon, or what was left of him. Oh no! Tell me it isn't true. Killed. I hope you avenged my boy. Oh, well, uh, I avenged him in a way, I guess. Of course. They were coming after me next, and I had to defend myself. You avenged my organ. 
Thank you. Now please leave a mother to grieve. Well, I guess we get some experience. No, no money. No, no precious coinage. But I, but I avenged your boy, sort of. I mean, I wasn't going to, but they attacked me, so. But, uh, you know. Oh, well. Anyway. Now that we're done with that, now we can go to Kirkwall and, and get annoyed by all, su uh, all new slew of people. You know, you or get annoyed, or be annoying, or, or new quests, or whatever, you know. Just all comes down to it when you think about it. How are the monsters walking into the town like that? I, I know it's the mechanic, but still. And so the bard arrived in Kirkwall, a peaceful and quiet town. The place seemed oddly familiar, and he would soon learn why. Oh, my lord! I don't believe it. I truly don't believe it! Do my eyes deceive me? One can only hope. So much for peaceful and quiet. Oh, my eyes speak the truth. My love has indeed returned. Although you vowed to return to my arms, time had cast doubt upon my heart. It's been so long since that magical night. Uh-oh, looks like we had a former lover come by. Oh, boy. Uh, hey, it w I mean, I'm still traveling, babe. Uh, learning experiences, all that other fun stuff, right? Yes, a night of bewilderment, much like this moment. I've returned for you, but I was so afraid when I saw you again, my eyes would not recognize you. And yet... Here you are. <laughs> yes. The woman you professed your love to. Oh, my heart. When I awoke that morning to find you gone, I was sure something had happened to you. Oh, we, we got in the middle of the night, huh? It was one of those uh, situations, huh? Well, uh, uh, you know, I, I had an important call to make, you know. I just I had to get out of there quickly, you know. I didn't want to disturb you while I was sleep while you are sleeping, you know. Yes, my lady. I went out that morning to pick you the most beautiful flowers in the land and was abducted by a band of rogue gypsies. Only thoughts of you gave me the strength to fight and find my way back here. Oh, my love. We'll share a lifetime of memories. Father will be so pleased. You must come round to the farm to meet him. I'm certain he'll love you as much as I. More love than I deserve, I'm sure. Alas, I must leave you now to seek gifts to present to you and your father. You'll soon know how much my heart yearns for you, I promise. Until we meet again, my love. And therein lies the loophole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The bard realizing how to work his way around with words. Yeah, he's got a way with words. He's just a bit of a dick about it. I saw it. a strange hooded man outside of town the other day. He was poking around near that old tower. Hmm. Anyway, we got to find Bob, so... I'm I'm just kind of looking around first before we do that because yeah the if you see on the map it shows like on the little thing you can barely see it in the corner but it says north and it has a little um, check mark or check box for a uh, quest but I'm just seeing if there's like any treasure or any random dialogue that'll pop up while I'm walking around and get myself a lay of the land so I can kind of uh, figure it out yeah usually oh I can't oh I thought that showed a door opening so. Usually you can tell a door opening by there will be like a white square that will pop up on the map that will say, hey, you can enter. Hmm. Anyway, this town is a nice little burg. Not that it's not all covered in crap completely, although it kind of looks like the previous town. Oh, well. Okay, so we can go to Finn's farm. I wonder if that's that girl's uh, Don't go near old dad. Finn's farm. He always packs a crossbow, and he's eager to use it. Hmm. Crossbow, you say? Well, well, let's see what's in here. The bar. Ooh, of course. Gotta stop it every time you go in a new uh, town, and back at, at least back in fantasy days, you gotta stop by all the bars. Hmm. I mean, there's noise of people talking, but there's not a whole lot of people in here. And there's a priest in here. Where? I was about to say, was there gonna be a rabbi and a... Uh, and, uh, and, uh, what was the other joke? Crap. I don't remember. Anyway. And I see Connor. Bartender. And... Okay, we can't talk to her. Okay, let's talk to the priest first. Welcome to Carquel. Care to buy me a drink? I mean... Make a donation? Oh. Small gift, uh... No. Heard it already. 
I'll have to see if you get anything for actually don't, giving him a drink or not, or at least a funny response. I might do that next episode. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Get out of here! <laughs> Leave me alone to wallow in sorrow. Sorry, I didn't know this was the ladies' room. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. All right, how about a drink, bartender? Or news, or lay of the land, or something. So what will it be? Ooh, I assume it's long. Uh, it looks like you get a bit of a small bonus if you uh, drink some alcohol. I wonder how long it lasts. It's probably a short. Uh, let's let's get some good rhythm going. What about this one? Ah, the ale. An effervescent start with oaky overtones and a crisp finish with a peppery aftertaste goes down smooth and burns like hell on the way back up. Hmm. It's not bad. Let's look at all the other... We'll, we'll look at the rest of them and then call it an episode there. What about this one? Ah, this is one hell of a stout. A strong, rich, multi flavor with a hint of hops. Goes down nice and creamy and leaves you a bit of foam in the mug to remember it by. Ooh, nice. Sounds horrible. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, I don't drink alcohol, so that might be what, how I feel. What about this one? Is it a beer, a whiskey, a wine? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. But I can tell you that if you're feeling a bit of luck, you can't go wrong with this one. The mystery drink, huh? No, yeah, well, that always ends up ends up well. Sounds ends horrible. up with you in a in a face full of uh, unknown liquid in the middle of Scotland. I'm not saying that from experience, by the way. How about one of these? Bugbear's Brew. We just got it today. It comes from Houghton. The brew is a randy old bugger. Used to work here, but I had to get rid of him. He kept feeling up the barmaids behind me back. Well, just was, was it him feeling up the barmaids, or was it just behind your back? Hmm. Questions we need to know the answer Not to. Not interested. But anyway, eh, we'll hold off on the beer. But uh, we don't want to be too drunk as exploring Kirkwall. What will Kirkwall have for us on our bardy ways? And, what'll, and what, is, what will Bob uh, give to us and have to say? Find out next time in the next episode of A Bard's Tale Remastered and Resnarkled. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.